All right, guys, I promised I would uh, do a back cut on the replacement 188 valve, but due to the tulip shape, a 30 degree back cut still leaves a ridge, so it may not be the easiest in the world to see. Can't quite focus it that close. Let me try a different light on that. I think that might be better. It's actually got a double back cut. It's a 19.5 and a 30 that goes to the 45. But I did it to the point where I can't even catch my fingernail on it. So it didn't take five minutes to figure out how to do it, but uh, I think it worked out really nice. Now the question is, did it... Did it make a difference in our flow? Well, now, if you take a good look at this, you can see this really dark blue. I forgot to take the old, old dicom off. But you can see the new blue, which is much wider. And it's got a good splash all over the chamber. So it's definitely flowing different. Actually, you can see on the other side, of the bowl, we got a little blue, which we didn't have any before. And as far as uh, our vein, uh, we're we're like right on the money with the vein. So I'm going to say that's that's pretty cool the way that worked out. Now, I should have asked my friend Rob for uh, a head gasket so I could see if I can deshroud these more. I don't have I I don't think I have a single 360 head gasket. They could definitely use some deshrouding around that intake valve. You can still still see it's a little lumpy. I'm sure there's a few CFM there. You can see the valve job is nothing great because we still got to do the guides on this, and we're not 100% sure what we're going to do for guides. But this flow test is strictly what you gain or what you lose from from a back cut. Uh, I've done a similar. I've done a similar uh, video like that before, and the back cut was worth quite a lot. I forget what, what head I did that on. The back cut was quite, worth quite a lot in the mid-range. I don't believe it topped out as well, but it was really good in the mid-range. I'm trying to get it so you can see the 45. The 45 is actually not... Uh, I mean, the 45, the, the 30 degree back cut is not that wide. The 19.5 is. So let's take a look at our flows. Oh. All right, guys, I had to put my pluses and minuses in. So here we go. We got a, a 19.5 and a 30 back cut. Okay. This is a 188, no back cut. Same size valve. Plus, 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 plus. Minus, minus, minus. Take a look how low the minuses are. Only only a couple CFM off, all right? Now, take a look at how much we gain in certain spots. 10. Uh, 11, 12. From 88 to 104. You get a huge boost in this, in this mid-range right here. Now remember, you're going to you're going to see all these numbers twice. You're only going to see 500 once. So what's more important? Very important fact, guys. Got to remember that. Try to keep the meat in the curve. That's why you you don't want to kick back that short side radius with a, a big a big layback on something you're going to be you're going to need uh, mid-range torque. Take a look at our swirl. It's very interesting what happened to the swirl. Over here, we got you got a lot of swirl as soon as you cracked the valve. Now you got nothing. In fact, it went backwards a few. Practically zero. Practically zero. Until 300, and she starts to pick up. Over here, you're still dead. You're dead almost through the whole range. I mean, if you put a 450 lift cam in here, you're going to have almost no, almost no swirl. Except for that little kick in the very beginning. That's not going to... That's not really going to work. This is a much better swirl curve. Starts real low, and then as you're increasing, 
starts to kick up. I would actually, you need to run almost five, almost a 500 lift cam on this, which I'm sure these heads will get something very similar to that. Let's take a look at our push rod pinch air speeds, minus plus plus, okay, versus these. Because it was measured at 500, it went from 247 to 244. All right, it's moving a little bit less air. Big difference on the speeds, though. All right, uh, roof numbers, 189, 209, 165, 197. They both went down. Are they more even, though? That's an important fact, right? You got 20, you got 30 between them. Almost exactly 30 here, right? 32. Okay, take a look at our short side radius. 376, 386, 367. Somebody asked how I was going to lower the airspeed in the center. Well, it's going to be tough to just lower the airspeed in the center, isn't it? I mean, if you widen the short side radius, you should lower all of them. It's going to be tough to just lower the center. I'll take a look where we came from. 375, 427, 390. Plus, minus, minus. They are much more even now. Basically, it's a happier port now than it was. And, as far as I'm concerned, we're handling the Dicom way better. So, I'm going to say that's a win. Now, if you don't agree... Please come come discuss it on, on our comments. Now, if we were going to run a really big cam and we're going to really spin the RPM up, I probably would not do a back cut. But then again, it's a, it's a very much a tulip-shaped valve. I'd probably try to put a, a more of a flat-headed valve in it. My friend Rob stopped by tonight. He gave us a bunch of a bunch of stuff to do experiments with. I got a fully assembled Magnum head that he's got aftermarket springs and stuff. I'm going to pop an intake and an exhaust spring off. We're going to flow test that completely stock. I don't know if we're going to do any work on that. But it'll be nice to get a bone stock Magnum on the bench and, uh, and see how it compares to this. First thing I did is I looked at the exhaust short side radius where it's shaped the way it should be <laughs> and it's a much smaller port i'm sure it works way better that'll actually be cool and uh to tease you he got he brought me an absolutely perfect spread bore four barrel intake manifold and iron it's gorgeous i don't even want to handle it and he gave me some more than one carburetor to fit it. So all that stuff has got to get tested on the uh, the 302 head when I uh, get around to it. So that's coming up. All right, just a teaser. Yeah, it's on an old chair with a, a towel under it. It's so pretty. So we're going to do some uh, flow test action on that and uh, see where that leads us. And uh, I can't think of anything else, guys. So thanks for hanging out. Have a good night. All right, just a teaser with the Magnum head. Notice how much smaller that exhaust port is. And it's shaped so much better. Can't wait to get these on the bench and check them out. And you know what? I bet the chamber and the intake port are way better, too. Looking forward to doing this. Can't thank my friend Rob enough. He's uh, he's tops with me. Thanks a lot, guys. Have a good night.